Hello and thank you very much for joining me in the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life and today I'm going to do a stress relief painting yes so let's just get on to this wonderful color scheme that I've got in pl I've got planned and let's just paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales okay so let's paint away the stress of everyday life today it's very very warm in the studio anyway let's have a look at the canvas uh, the uh, palette of colors I've got I've got a, a cadmium red which is a mid red um, a cadmium yellow medium which is a, a, obviously a medium yellow I got some burned umber some titanium white and Mars black and that's all the colors I'm going to be using today as you know I quite like limited palettes and um, well let's get creating let's get creating let's just get some white on my brush and a little bit of yellow and let's just put some nice yellowy type of sky in here today just like that wow look at that let's just get that down there like that i'm going to be using a, a, a fine mist bottle today that's one of these a little fine mist bottle because i just want to mist down the surface of my canvas because oh it's getting warm it's getting warm let's get a little bit of red I want to put a little bit of a, a pink tinge into this sky now with because there's white I've just put down so I just wanted to get a little bit of a, a pinky type of tinge in the sky like that lovely 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 let's just bring a bit of that down there like that some yellow a little bit of red yellow and a little bit of red there you go yellow and a little bit of red I want to put some orange in the sky blending that in very lightly with the brush as well because it's warm today I thought why not paint some sort of a a summery type of heat warm looking painting wow put a bit of that in there just get that sky all nice and warm bringing that down blending very very light very very light touch with a brush a very very light touch so let's just get some red and a little bit of yellow let's make a nice orange and I'm just going to bring a little bit of burnt umber make a, a dark type of orange because I want to put a, some a little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow and just get that warmth in the sky. I want it a bit darker than that. I want to get a bit darker than that. There you go. A warm of the burnt umber makes for some wonderful sunset -y type of scenes if you're painting a nice warm sunset type of scene that we're doing today there we go wow okay let's just put a little bit down there maybe a bit more yellow then let's get a little bit of yellow I want a little brightness there cleaning my brush I'm gonna get a little bit of white I'm gonna get a little bit of titanium white now just into that yellow like that bring that in there nice warm glow in fact I think what I'm gonna do I'm going to big a big almighty type of sun, I think, just poking itself through there. I may have to just dry that off with a hairdryer in a second, just reiterate that. We'll highlight that little bit of sun. You can just about see it, which is okay, that's okay. 
So what I want to do now is bring in just a mountain shape like this. Same colour, that burned umber and orange. Dragging that in. Trying to get that nice edge. Don't want to lose that edge. Dragging that through. Let's get a little bit more burnt ember because I want it to slightly darker over there. There we go, like that. Nice line across. And let's just get our brush and just drag through like this. Maybe just to show a little bit of highlight a little bit on their mountains like that. There we are, we've got that warm, distancey looking sunset. Now I'm gonna get some um, burnt umber. Mixing in with a bit of orange, get a little bit of black this time. Because I wanna really darken it up, really darken it up. And let's put some tree shapes or silhouette of trees coming in like this. Let's get some dark in there. Reminiscent of a something like a Bob Ross type of painting. Let's bring a bit of shadow down. Just like that. And we could get these down. Because they're going right into the distance. Like that. Drag a bit of that down there. Like that. They could be coming out. There we go. Let's get a bit more red. Let's just put another little mountainy type of outcrop thing. Just there, like that. Maybe just bring that down a bit. Just like that. Bit of shadow in the water. <laughs> I'm going to dry that very quickly with a hairdryer. And a little bit of moisture on my brush. I just wipe my brush with some tissue paper, but a little bit of moisture on the brush. No more paint on that brush, but what I'm going to do is just put a, a little bit of shadow just on the back of that mountain. Picked up a little bit of yellow. increase these ones that are just painted over. Just adds a little bit of um, difference there. I'm just going to pick up a, a detail brush now and I'm going to put this let's get some, it's got to be titanium white. There we 
Rico. Das sind hin. A bit of warmth and a bit of blackness into this sky. There you go. Just a little bit of light. Let's get a little bit of this cloud colour. Put a little bit of a cloud. Just going across, maybe. Sun. Just putting a few little bits of colour just in the sky. It's always a little bit darker across the top, so I'm just going to skag that in. Just like that. You play with this as you want to. You design your own painting. There you go. I'm just going to wash my brush very quickly. Because I want to get some yellow and some white together. Now I'm going to put in the water effect. Let me come down. You can see that reflection of the sun sprinkling around in this water there like that. Some of that orange. Just put a bit of of that colour here and there and here and here. Just like that. Get a bit of yellow. orange okay I'm gonna dry that off very quickly Okay, we'll brush, make a nice wash, this is what they call a wash, it's a very thin quarter paint and we can put a nice wash of colour. Just over there like that. And then we get some white. You just paint and have fun. And there we have a nice warm sunset, sunrise for you. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. Hope you have fun. Please give it a try. Have a bit of fun. You never know until you try. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.